Hi, this is Corey Sievers from the Sevi team and in this video I wanted to share with you five tips to help you sleep better and wake feeling more refreshed. Now, I oh know you've probably heard the tips that I've heard too. Shot of brandy before, not, before bed, uh, a warm glass of milk, um, I don't know, a sleeping tablet, <laughs> things like this. We're talking about healthy tips to help you sleep better and wake feeling more refreshed. See, when you take care of some of the underlying issues that lead to ill health and you know issues with the body, you'll find that you naturally fall asleep easier and wake feeling more refreshed anyway. Look, when people start to follow our simple wellness plan, people routinely say they wake feeling more refreshed, they sleep easier anyway, but I wanted to give you five specific tips today. So number one is to work with your body, not against it. See, it's interesting that, I guess for those of you who are parents, you know what it's like, Let, let's think about setting a formal bedtime as a start, okay? For those of you who are parents, you know what happens when the kids stay beyond their bedtime. They turn into monsters and then it's hard to get them to sleep and those sorts of things, isn't it? Well, it's the same thing for you too. If you set a formal bedtime where you really aim to get to sleep it, it by that time, or at least get to bed, it helps with the way your hormones work your whole there's a hormonal entrainment and circadian rhythm that you get to work with if you set a formal bedtime so it really just helps your brain adjust to a certain time frame so that's a really good tip there working with your body and not against it uh, another thing on that is also trying to get to bed before 11 p.m. at night time again working in with the circadian rhythm often your cortisol levels can spike after 11 and have you sort of feeling more stressed out and find it harder to get to sleep you may have experienced that and certainly after midnight sometimes you can find that it's even harder to get to sleep once you leave it beyond midnight unless your body's become a little bit entrained with that particular rhythm on that too, exercising on cortisol and stress and all that sort of thing, exercising before bed, within the two hours before bed, can give you troubles as well, unless it's things like yoga and things that are, that are soothing and relaxing, stretching and, and all that sort of thing is a good idea as well. The next one here is, <laughs> is for those of you um, who have seen the 1980s movie Gremlins, You'll remember on that particular movie, the little gremlin said, bright light, bright light. And so this is no bright light, no bright light for you. This is one of the biggest challenges that's affecting people's sleep nowadays. The devices that we have with us and that we use to late hours of the night. You know that reading before bed is not a bad idea. In fact, it can really help to relax you, soothe the mind and all that sort of thing. But the problem is we've moved to eBooks that are, you know, we're, we're reading a digital screen and that bright light can really mess up our hormones and stop our body from shutting down effectively so that we can prepare for sleep. So if you're going to be doing, doing that at nighttime, we really encourage you to use one of the apps like Flux, uh, is an app for the computer if you've got to work late at night so that it tones down the blue light uh, from the screen and it goes very yellow. Also, um, I know that, for example, with the with um, Apple devices, they have the bedtime app that helps to start to tone tone down the blue light as well. Or you could simply dim the screen at the very least because that bright light, what it can do is it can really stop you winding down and it can suppress the production of melatonin which is our sleep hormone. So with all of these things that we're wanting to do as we get towards going to bed, we need to work with our body and not against it. So on that, as we're talking about devices and everything, you know, electromagnetic frequencies and electromagnetic radiation. This is something too that's really important. Many people sleep with, you know, you just think about it, a bed often has power points on either side of the bed and people have devices plugged in their iPads and all that sort of thing, and next door's the Wi-Fi or the TV's right there. These frequencies can really disturb our sleep patterns. And so as much as you can avoid that being in the bedroom, so, and especially maybe if you're not using it, turn off Wi-Fi at night, turn your devices to airplane mode, uh, do whatever you can to reduce the frequencies that will interrupt your natural sleep patterns there. And also, sleeping in a dark room if possible. So if that means blackout curtains, um, 
this is also in this bright light, bright light, blackout curtains, or even an eye mask if, if there's so much light around you, really helps your body to shut down effectively so that you get more restful sleep and you wake feeling more refreshed. Really important to work with your body and avoid that bright light. And if you have particular problems with uh, electromagnetic frequency, certainly reach out to us. We have some solutions that can help you know, work with your body so that you do uh, fall into more of a natural rhythm. Number three, number three is trace minerals. And we have seen over and over and over again that when people have trouble sleeping, they are often minerally deficient. Things like calcium, copper, iron, magnesium are all related to your ability to wind down and get to sleep. See, even all of your hormones, your brain neurotransmitters, your hormones, melatonin, serotonin, all of these hormones in the body actually are somewhat dependent on the action of trace minerals. And so if you're deficient because of the way you're eating, or let's face it today, even our normal food production techniques mean that we can be deficient in trace minerals. If you're deficient in trace minerals, your body can't shut down effectively. So you might even get eight hours of sleep but you don't even, you don't wake feeling refreshed. That can be trace minerals. Also B vitamins to a certain degree, but um, we have found that over and over and over again, if people are having trouble sleeping or they're not waking feeling refreshed, it could be as simple as a natural trace mineral supplement. So again, we have some brilliant solutions there. Reach out to us if you need some specific tips. Essential oils. We um, on the um, on the page here. There's a post on the on four great essential oils to help you sleep, and so um, check those out. One of them is fairly well known. For example, lavender. Lavender is researched to help you to to um, to sleep better. In fact, um, uh, in fact, I won't go through that. Read it. There is a note here. Go to the note section on the page. Uh, on the Savvy Team Facebook page, and you can read about it. But lavender, pettigrain, Roman chamomile, valerian, and Indian sandalwood are all essential oils that are known to help you relax, calm down, and have a more restful sleep. So if you'd like to know more about the blend that we use, certainly reach out to your Savvy Team contact or message, message us, reach out to us in some way. So the last thing I wanted to talk about was stress relief nutrients. There are a number of things here, and we have a great post on our Healthy Wealthy Wise blog on stress relief. And it talks about, um, in there, we, we share tips on um, relieving stress and helping you to sleep with you know, herbs like St. John's Wort, valerian, B vitamins, and a special ingredient that's, that's commonly known as lactium. And lactium I wanted to talk to you about because one of those old wives' tales is having a warm glass of milk before bed. And that supposedly helps you sleep. Maybe even if it has a dash of brandy in it, I don't know. But <laughs> warm milk supposedly ha helps you sleep. Now, we don't really suggest in the savvy team that you have a glass of warm milk. It's not the healthiest thing to do before going to, going to sleep. But nevertheless, researchers have looked at why is that? Does that old wives tale actually have some basis in fact? And one of psychologists have said it's, it's all about the, um, it's a throwback to when you would um, uh, breastfeed and having that warm milk is nourishing psychologically. And they've, they've looked at babies, how they relax when they're, when they're suckling, for example. And, uh, you know, maybe, maybe there's an emotional um, connection there. But researchers found that there is a particular ingredient in the milk protein that's commonly known as lactium. Now, lactium is, is an interesting, uh, interesting um, supplement, uh, and it's one of the ones that we wrote about in that stress relief article. Lactium stimulates the activity of neurotransmitters in the brain that inhibit anxiety and stress hormone response. So thereby, they, they promote a more relaxed state and help you to calmly drift off to sleep. So, so uh, and that's one of the reasons why a warm glass of milk is supposed to help. So there's a lot of clinical studies that actually show benefit, as, um, benefit by that. I'll read this. This is, from, this is on the blog, and we can link up the actual blog post for you to read. In people with sleep problems, lactium improved sleep quality 
and the time to fall asleep after just two weeks. And it also improved the general daytime dysfunction from poor sleep patterns after just a month. And that's one of the ingredients in the stress relief nutrients that we wrote about in that particular post. But I wanted to mention that too, because it has that whole relationship to the potential reason that that wife's tale of a, a warm glass of milk actually works. I don't know whether I would suggest the actual milk, but uh, certainly lactium. So it's interesting that we have found that anyone over the over our years of helping people with general um, illness and you know reaching that high level of wellness, when they've said that they find a trouble um, sleeping or they don't wake feeling refreshed, when they follow those five tips in particular, really focusing on making sure that they have the daily trace mineral supplementation and then taking these. Um, I guess these as supportive helpers until you you're, until you overcome that initial challenge of of sleep of course these are good to continue with you know work with your body avoid the bright light start on the trace minerals if you're still having trouble sleeping then an essential oil blend such as what we recommend and a stress relief nutrient blend could really help you to achieve that better quality sleep. So there you have it, five healthy sleep tips. If you'd like to know more information, certainly, um, you know, certainly reach out to us. Um, for some of some of you who've been working with us in the in the Savvy team, let us know whether some of these have particularly helped you with your sleep habits. We'd love to, you know, get a conversation going around this. So there you have it, five sleep tips to help you sleep better and wake feeling more refreshed.